Today we are talking about, being a district governor. In this training, you will learn more about, the district, the district officers, the district council, pre-installation duties, constitutional responsibilities, functional responsibilities, exit duties, DG and DG calendars. The district. Districts are subdivisions of YRMI to integrate and foster collaboration and engagement between clubs within a geographic space. In 2020, there are 43 regions within eight areas, and about 200 districts. Districts are also a link between the club and the regional level. The district officers. The district governor leads the activities of the district so as to meet the goals and objectives of YRMI. The DG work happens in the context of a troika, which means shared leadership between IPDG, immediate past district governor, DG, district governor, DGE. District Governor Elect. In addition to the Troika, DGs will often appoint and work closely with an District Secretary and an District Treasurer. In larger districts, sub officers such as Lieutenant DGs may be appointed to divide the work in a fair and manageable manner. The District Council. The District Council, legislative body, is formed, minimally by the Troika that is, IPDG, DG, and DGE. The exact membership will be determined by your district or regional constitution. Officers are an integrated team. Collaborating effectively together, communicating diplomatically and with ambition to reach goals and advance the YMI movement. The DG presides over the council which should ideally include the district officers, as well as representatives from each club. The major purposes of the council are Plan the district events for the year Determine and oversee the district budget Assist in the development and attainment of district goals Help clubs problem solve Pre-installation duties 1. Complete DG training successfully 2. Form your team of officers, by the 1st of June 3. Set goals for the coming year. 4. Prepare a calendar for the year. 5. Familiarize yourself with current activities and agenda items at the club and regional levels. Constitutional responsibilities. Per Article 5, Section 1D of the International Constitution, districts are subdivisions established at the discretion of and managed by, the regions. The international constitution does not prescribe specific district duties, but the following are common DG responsibilities, applicable across all districts. As a district governor, acting as an administrative officer of the district, sharing meetings off the district council, ensuring the occurrence of district meetings, generally every three months or in accordance with the regional constitution. Holding a district conference in relation to the regional convention. Encouraging conservation, extension and membership growth. Representing the district and its clubs at the meetings of the regional council. Reporting directly and regularly to the regional director, highlighting club activities and membership. Functional responsibilities. Functional responsibilities Conducting area council meetings Developing a district budget Supporting the RD, performing tasks on his or her behalf Setting goals and plans for the district Fostering community service Developing a collaborative relationship with the YMCA Promoting attendance of regional, area, 
and international conventions. Leading and inspiring membership growth. Promoting youth engagement and our image through targeted PR. Exit responsibilities. Train and mentor your successor. Hand over your records, highlighting open or pending issues. Participate in the district decision making as part of the DG Troika. DG and DG calendars. As DG and DG there are certain key dates which you should remember. Note them in your agenda and set up reminders. As a district governor you can, and should, develop a direct and personal working relationship with the clubs within your jurisdiction. This video and its corresponding training materials have been produced to help prepare you to assume your DG role confidently. We recommend regularly reviewing your work using the key performance indicators, KPIs, which you will find in the training PowerPoint. We wish you the best for a successful term.